Calaroga Shark Media. So many new listeners lately. Thank you all for listening. Hello, I'm Johnny Mac with five good news stories. Do you like hot dogs? Do you want to drive the Oscar Mayer hot dog mobile? Have you ever seen this one? I've seen this in person. I don't remember where, but I've definitely seen it. It's a 27 foot long wiener mobile. Oscar Mayer is hiring. It's a year long opportunity to drive across the country in the wiener mobile. You'll make $35,600. The average hot dogger travels 20,000 miles and visits at least 40 cities to host pop-up events, appear on local media, and create content for TikTok and Instagram. The copy here is wonderful. It says, it's an opportunity that, to be frank, most people would relish. Well done. In past years, hot doggers had the opportunity to introduce the first ever hot dog flavored ice pops in New York City. They got to marry some couples in Las Vegas. On top of the $35.6, you'll get $150 a week for meals. All right, we'll divide that by seven, 20 bucks a day, and personal travel. The position includes health benefits, 18 days of paid time off, and all expense paid hotel stays. This is pretty competitive. They say they get around 1,500 applications for the 12 open spots. The press release said the title of a hot dogger is a rare and coveted position unique to those seeking adventure and a once in a lifetime experience. Statistically speaking, more people have visited space than driven the Wienermobile. We take pride in welcoming the next class who will continue to uphold the tradition of sparking smiles and bringing buns of fun to fans across the U.S. That's a good time. Good news. We found your cat. Tyler the cat. Often spends weeks on the road with his owner, Chad, the truck driver. In November, Tyler the cat somehow got out of the truck somewhere in Nevada. Chad looked everywhere, couldn't find the cat, had to get back on the road. Five days later at a truck stop 670 miles away in Rock Springs, Wyoming, Tyler was found. A vet scanned the microchip, found out the cat was from Illinois. Everybody's back together. A cat 670 miles in five days? That's a lot, isn't it? Like, isn't that like a lot, a lot? I wonder if the cat jumped in somebody else's car or hitchhiked on a train or something. That seems like a lot to me. A bird landed on a bride's head and that helped win the 7th International Wedding Photographer of the Year Award. Photographer Tara won first place among 1,700 photos that were submitted across 11 categories. This category was single capture, the rules of which required that no entry can be manipulated or photoshopped beyond standard adjustments to color and exposure. A Canada J, also known as a Whiskey Jack, landed squarely on the bride's head. (laughs) The bride has her mouth wide open in shock and delight at the guest. They cut it on film. As the winner of the 2023 International Wedding Photographer of the Year, the photographer won a share of a $3,000 prize. Wildlife officers in Australia responded to a call. Yep, in the chicken coop, a crocodile. I feel like in Australia, there's a crocodile every five feet. And if you think I'm just being stereotypical, I'll send you pictures. I I was down there. I took crocodile warning signs. I've got the proof. But good news in a news release, the responding officer said, fortunately, all chickens and pets living on the property have been accounted for. Senior wildlife officer Jane Burns said, it isn't unusual to see crocodiles around these parts. It is unusual to find one in someone's backyard. It's a good reminder to everyone in croc country that crocodiles can turn up in unexpected places. So it's always important to be croc wise and report all sightings as soon as you can. And our final story today. Today's fun, isn't it? A party of 35 reportedly ate and drank their way through a diner in somewhere in Sweden. And then they left without paying. 35 dash and run. Not cool. Police investigated. The alleged dash and run happened on Christmas. Police closed the investigation this week on Monday, but it was reopened by prosecutors on Wednesday. On Christmas, the group ordered around, ah, I'm rounding off the currency here, $2,2100 worth of food and say $4,500 worth of drinks. The party then reportedly left in a number of taxis without paying. Police were first alerted to the suspected fraud at 11 p.m. on Christmas Day. Officers located and stopped several vehicles in parts of the city. One taxi carrying four people, a man 45, a 35-year-old woman, and two children was stopped. Police say the restaurant has sent an invoice to the person who made the reservation, which includes late payment interest of 10%. The invoice has not yet been paid, but officers said it's up to the restaurant to take the matter further. On Wednesday, the prosecutor said he respects the police's decision, but he's made a different assessment. He said the case was reopened because of major public interest. 
The restaurant is described by the Michelin Guide as a formal yet relaxed eatery and boasts an extensive wine list while serving traditional dishes from Sweden's southernmost region. And those are your five good news stories for today. If you enjoy the show, tell a friend about it. This would be a good one to share. This one's a lot of fun. And I'll see you on Monday. You have a great weekend.